Hi, my name is Christoph, and today I want to demonstrate the Elastic Workflow for 3D volumes. So the first thing uh, I'm going to do is create a new project and add my sample file. Um, this sample file uh, is provided by the courtesy of Graham Nod, and it shows neurons, uh, so it's a sub-volume from the, from the brain. Let me maximize this. And what you can see is um, like the neuron interior, neur neuron boundaries, um, vesicles and mitochondria. And let's assume our task is uh, to distinguish just the interior from, um, from the boundaries. So I would uh, go to the classification tab and create two label classes, so green for interior and uh, red for interior and green for the boundary. Um, but before I start labeling, um, we need to compute some image features. And here you see the features are grouped in, into color, edge, orientation, texture. And they also have a, a scale, which is like previewed here in this right image, what is the, the corresponding filter size. And I go for um, those features here, medium scale, I take color, edge, and texture. And now the features are computed. And <coughs> to zoom in these images, um, I press the control key and just use my mouse wheel. When I do this here, then all slices are zoomed at once. When I go over here and do the same thing, just the individual slice is zoomed. So then we can start labeling. So I pick the red color, um, increase the brush size a bit via pressing M and mark this region. Now I zoom in and give some labels for the boundary. Um, I decrease the brush size a bit by pressing N and just trace this boundary here. So maybe some more additional labels for the interior. So now I change to the um, learning mode by pressing uh, start live prediction mode and now the, um, the overlay of the prediction of the classifier sh uh, shows up and you see we get a, a nice separation here. Um, so I can maybe give it some additional labels where some errors occurred, maybe here. Okay, so let's stop this live prediction mode and then we can maybe view a different overlay. As you can see here is a list of overlays. So label zero, label one, refer to the prediction overlays. I can disable and enable them here. And here's also another overlay which is called uncertainty and you see okay this gives kind of the uncertainty of this uh, of this prediction. And here you see the uh, um, red region here where the uncertainty is quite high. Um, let's have a look what this might be and what we can see this is kind of a new structure in these images um, which refers to a mitochondrion in, uh, in the brain and therefore I just create a new label class to account for those mitochondria. And I give a brush here in yellow and switch back to interactive mode and turn on labels I want to have. And now we see okay he found this um, this uh, yellow region here also some others so these other region refer to mitochondria uh, to vesicles I'm sorry and let's see if we find another mitochondria in there uh, here for example is another mitochondria uh, showing up and yeah here also and now I stop the live prediction mode and predict the whole volume. This takes a while. Um, Elastic was that fast because only the visible um, slices were uh, computed in the interactive mode. And now we have a hard assignment. So when we threshold those probability maps, we can have a hard assignment of uh, to each class. And yeah. If I would have more images, I could use the automate um, tab to batch process other files. And if you're interested in other shortcuts, which in which are inside Elastic, you can of course use the shortcut help here. So for now, I save this pr uh, to a project file uh, on my desktop. Call it uh, neurons, and 
in this way all my images and my labels and predictions and segmentations are saved and I can easily continue tomorrow um, with my project. So thanks, that's for now and thanks for listening. Um, yeah, enjoy.